Alright, welcome back guys. This is the fourth installment of the Joy of Battle Mapping, and this will be DM Who with you today. Um, so, we're going to go into lighting and objects in today's episode, and let's get right into it. So we're going to end up with something like this, uh, but first let's go back to our project as it stands. And, uh, alright, let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is head back out to the internet to grab some items. Um, so uh, you can find all, there's all kinds of different places to find these things and I will add a couple links in the description uh, to where I get a lot of mine. Um, but if you just need free art uh, to use for your own personal use uh, with your own personal group, uh, this is a really awesome way to do it. Um, you can come to Google or whatever your favorite uh, search engine is and you just search for whatever you're looking for, and then Dund Genie. And you'll find all kinds of different things out there. Um, so for today, we're doing Torch Dund Genie. And here we are. Uh, we're going to use, uh, in our demonstration today, we're going to use this piece. Uh, so we'll grab that. We'll right click Save Image As and grab it. I've already done so. And the second search we're doing is Sarcophagus Dund Genie. And we're going to use this image today. Okay, and then also, guys, um, anyone who wants to pitch in in the comments, if you've got links to places where you get art or assets, uh, definitely, you know, share, 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 share. Okay, awesome. So, back to Photoshop. So, we've got our two items saved um, on our hard disk. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just do the lights first. So, I'm going to just, I'm just going to close this group. We're going to double click on that and rename this to Project. Okay, perfect. And with that closed and selected, we're just going to navigate to where our items are. Uh, so here's the torch, and we're just going to drag that straight onto our project. Here, I'm going to hit Alt and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Now we can see our item here. All right, so it's in, but it's not finalized yet. We'll hit Enter, and here it is. Okay, so now we've got it. Now we can hit V or come up here and click on our Move tool, and now we can start to move this around. No, this is great. Uh, so, we could do this a few different ways, but uh, for this demonstration, we're just going to add the glow to this particular layer and then start to clone the layer. Um, so we'll come down here to FX, click on that, and this time we'll do Outer Glow. It will be, by default, it will be white. And so what we need to do, first things first here, is we're going to click on our little white uh, color here, and we're going to move that out of the way, and we're just going to move on to our image, and we're going to take a sample here. And I'm just holding down the left mouse button and moving it around until I get what I want. So i got a really high yellow, um, and we're going to OK. And that's going to create our, our, our um, outer glow here. And then we can come up and we can adjust. So got a nice big glow there. That's nice. Okay. Uh, I like these to be relatively subtle, so my opacity, sure, 36%. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, you find whatever kind of glow you like. Uh, when we're done tweaking our glow, we'll hit OK. Now we can come back over. We've got our Move tool selected. We can move it around, and we can actually see if we come out into the black space here uh, just how much glow we have. Now, excellent. So now we need to place our light. Um, and to help us do that, we're going to come up to View and make sure that our snaps are turned on. You definitely want to have this turned on. And as a matter of fact, I would suggest to almost always have these turned on. And what they do is they just allow, like you can see if, you, if you're fiddling around with this, you'll, you'll feel it. As you move stuff around, it'll just snap right into place. And it has, it's very, very powerful. It'll also help you to draw um, better shapes with the grid on because you can turn the grid on and you can just glide it right across that so I'll hit control apostrophe here we'll turn the grid on and we can see that we can just line up on that grid well this this is trying to line up for the center so that's not great but uh, snaps are very useful control apostrophe to dismiss the grid for now and there that looks good so now with my layer still selected here, I'm going to hold down Control and I'm going to hit J. 
and that's going to clone that layer or copy that layer. It has created a second layer right on top of the other. And now with move tool still selected, I can move this across. And now since I have snaps on here, you'll see I'll get these I'll get these little grooves here that I can just slide right across on. And I'm just eyeballing the distance between them. But that's sufficient. That's great. And it looks good. Awesome. And we will address this um, outer glow momentarily. So now that we have our two lights here, uh, we're not going to repeat. We're going to we're going to try to maximize our efficiency here. So whenever we can, um, we're not going to we're going to make the least amount of copies. So what we'll do is we'll come over here, and we will shift and click on our second torch layer, and we'll hold Control and hit E. Now that will merge them both together, and now I can move them both around at the same time. Now this is great. Uh, that's not where I want them, so I'll hit Control Z back to where they were. Now I can hit Control J to create a, another copy of this layer, and I'm moving around two at the same time. The next trick to using objects is holding down Control and hitting T, and it allows us to manipulate our object in just about any way we want. Um, there's all kinds of advanced uh, transforms, um, but for now, for our purposes, um, all we really want to do here is right click and we can see that we have our rotate 90 degree clockwise and rotate 90 degree counterclockwise. We're going to go clockwise once and we're great here. So one thing about transform is once you initiate it, uh, in order to end it, you need to either come all the way up here and click on the transform, commit the transform button, or you can just hit enter. And that has committed it. Um, so now we're moving the whole layer around again. And we can just move this right up against that wall there, find something that we like. There we go. Boom. That's great. Snap still on. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So now we're going to hit control J and create another layer. And we're going to move this one straight across. Because we have our snaps on, it just glides right across. We don't really need to do any kind of fancy um, measurements or anything. And we're just going to hit Control T to transform this one again. And we're going to right click inside of the transform area here. And we're going to flip that horizontal. That's just going to go around and we hit Enter. Boom. Done. Okay. And we move that into a position that we like. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So that's good for our lights. So now we'll come over here and we will shift click on the bottom of our lights here grabbing all the layers together holding down control and hitting E that will merge them all together so now we need to take care of this outer glow here uh, so this is going to be quite easy uh, so we're going to come over to our path we're going to grab our first path here uh, right click on it uh, make selection and click the create new layer mask button and boom, we've got it. Now I'm going to Alt Mouse Wheel in. We're going to see this doesn't look particularly great, but again, very easy to fix. We'll just come on over to our brush, uh, come up here, open up our brush um, options, and we we'll, we want a nice soft brush, so hardness of zero, and we'll go with 30 pixels. Um, yeah, that's a nice size, awesome. Uh, so with that selected, let's just dismiss all that and we're going to make sure okay awesome so everything's set up now we're going to get onto our, our path right click and we're going to stroke and boom there we go excellent clean that up perfect click off of our path and there we go we've got our lights so having that taken care of we're going to go ahead and open up project and we're going to move our light layer in now what's important that our light layer stays above our wall layer. If we end up with our light layer underneath our wall layer or underneath our negative layer, it will create all of this shadow over top of our lights, which we don't want. Um, so we want to make sure that our light layer stays way up high like this. Okay, so with that in place, we can move on to our objects. So we'll come down here uh, and we'll, we'll click on our floor and we'll create a new group, we'll double click on that group and name it objects. Now we're ready to go to 
our folder and grab our sarcophagus. So we'll just drag that right back out, just like we did with the torch. And we can see that we've got quite a big image here. So uh, first off, though, we're going to turn it. We're going to right click on it, uh, turn it 90 degree clockwise. Excellent. Now we're going to come on up here, and we are going to click on the link between the W and the H. And this is telling us how big the width and the height of this item is. With our mouse hovering over the W, we're going to hold down left click, and we're going to drag the left scale down. Now we can drag to the right to scale back up if we wanted to, but we're going to drag it down until it takes up you know, however big we want the sarcophagus to be. So that's a pretty, it's a pretty big sarcophagus, but it, it looks good in this room. So uh, once we're happy with the size, we'll hit enter. That will finalize the loading in of that object. Now, with our move tool selected, we can move this around. Put it where we want it. Excellent. And now we'll toss it into the objects uh, group here. Excellent. And I'll be honest, guys. Uh, the objects is where you're going to spend most of your time. Um, bringing these in, uh, moving them around, cloning them, turning them. It's, it's the biggest pain in, in, in this. It's the biggest time sink, at least. And it's very rewarding. You get you know, a lot of cool detail. Uh, but this can be quite a challenge. Um, we'll get into other ways to you know, clone and, and move things around and um, uh, other types of tools for that uh, in later episodes. So let's get that shadow on there, and we can wrap this video up. Uh, so, with our objects group selected, we're going to come down to FX button, click on that, and go for drop shadow. Uh, so now, what this will allow us to do is put a drop shadow down on anything that we place. Any layer that's in within this object um, group will have this this layer on it. It the shadow effect. Pardon me. Okay. So let's go ahead and just do a nice, easy, let's do, let's do 5% spread and 6 pixels and a high opacity. Uh, this will be the inner shadow. Now we can come right down here and instead of having the drop shadows on two different layers, if we like, we can actually have multiple drop shadows on just one layer or one special effect, I should say, because uh, this is a group we're talking about now. So in order to do that, we'll just hit this plus button here, and then it'll drop us a second drop shadow. And we can come in, that second drop shadow, and we can just uh, bring this up and get that second shadow that I like. Uh, and if you don't like the second shadow, you don't have to have it. But look at that. It creates this like, you know, deep shadow in the crevice back there. It's, it's so good. Okay, awesome. So I like that now. If you want more shadows, you can add even more. Um, uh, whatever tickles your fancy. Uh, but when you're ready, hit OK, and there we go. We're done. Okay, guys, so the next episode will wrap up the basics. Um, we'll be covering doing hand shading, um, so getting out our paintbrush and doing some touch-up. Uh, and then with that done, we will be able to move on to more advanced stuff um, and requests and things along those lines. Alright, so guys, uh, don't forget to drop comments uh, with links to art assets that you may use or find useful, and uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. Alright, talk to y'all soon.